my name is Emily and I'm a London Blue Badge Tourist Guide and I'm standing just next to the River Thames in an area called Rotherhive. And this place is where many historical events have happened. For instance, 400 years ago in 1620, we would have seen many ships covering the river and as a pedestrian, it would have been pretty hard to get to the other side. But then those very clever Victorians come along and in 1843, they create a tunnel the Thames Tunnel, the first tunnel created under a navigable river. Now let's find out where the story of the tunnel began. It may look like a small museum, but don't be deceived because it has a huge story to tell. Let's go have a look. The story of the Thames Tunnel, when we bring up the is, it is a story of ingenuity, it's a story of perseverance against all odds and adaptability. I think those are really great values actually, and I really like being able to uh, share that story. The Thames Tunnel was the brainchild of uh, Sir Mark Brunel uh, and their son Isambard Kingdom Brunel. So this is the son. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Isambard Kingdom Brunel with his broken stovepipe hat and his cigar that, that we've all come to recognise. So we are currently standing in the Thames Tunnel shaft. So this was the first structure that was built uh, when Mark Brunel started to build the Thames Tunnel. So the public would be able to visit the tunnel uh, by paying a penny to walk through. Um, but Mark had originally actually planned for the tunnel to have uh, horses and carts going through and he actually intended it as a um, a way to transport cargo in this kind of amazing tourist destination by souvenirs. So from what I understand, the tunnel is still used today. Uh, and today it's still in use by long term overground. Uh, and you can actually go through the Moroccan is by King of Brunel Tunnel uh, if you get your own from our lives to what they all can back the other end. Wow, I love that. Uh, we're really happy to be um, open to the public. Uh, we'll do walking tours, we'll do school sessions, and you can even get back. Thank you so much for talking to us today and yeah, good luck for the Thanks so much. There are many historical places where Blue Badge guides like myself can take you to, such as Westminster Abbey, St Paul's Cathedral, the Tower of London, Hampton Court Palace. But it's these wonderful hidden gems that we are really keen to show you, like the Brunel Museum. So whether you're visiting or whether you live in London, why not get a blue badge guide to show you around?